Hey guys, what's going on? Welcome back to the channel Star Agent Starco Gaming here back with another Marvel Future Fight video. Guys, make sure to check the description below the video for the links to our giveaway. We're always giving awesome stuff to you guys and make sure you subscribe to the channel to be eligible to claim your prize if you do win. Also guys, I want to give a big shout out to my big friend Docs Disciples from Dreamland for letting me use his account for this video. So guys, what we're going to do in this video, it's going to be a full review with gameplay of Tier 2 of Victorious. Uh, Victorious is actually a character that a lot of people uh, don't think she's that strong, but she is freaking amazing guys. Eh? every single game mode depending on how you build her if you build her with CTP of Rage she's going to be amazing for a line fellow stream Shaolin uh, wall boss ultimate uh, giant boss raid and if you give her a CTP of destruction She'll be a little bit weaker in Lance Battle Extreme, but she's going to be still be amazing in Giant Boss Raid. Still very good for wall, uh, Alliance Battle Extreme. Amazing still for Wall Boss Ultimate, and that will make her a top 10 characters in PvP. When she actually first got out with PV, uh, with the CTP of Destruction, she was actually a, um, a meta for uh, Alliance Tournament. So that's how strong this girl was when... Uh, when people um, didn't think she was the meta for Alan Fellow Stream, then people realized, oh man, she is awesome, man, oh, CTP of Rage came out, oh damn, she's so good, screw her for PvP, we can find somebody better than her. <laughs> so that's pretty much what happened with her, she is one of the, one of the most valuable characters, paywall character in the game right now guys her damage is crazy and again if you put that CTP of rage on her if you have one it's just turn her from a amazing characters to a goddamn beast mode character guys so uh, that's pretty much what she is yes she is paywall characters if you do if you're free to play ca player guys uh, you're not gonna get her sorry guys but uh, you're not gonna get her but everybody else that uh, actually put money in the game, if you buy a paywall subscription and get her up and you have the chance to probably eventually uh, get a CTP of Rage for free, my guess is we're gonna get that with Endgame uh, with the Legendary Battle Pack. Well, free, it still costs Crystal to actually buy the pack and level uniform, but whatever, you know what I mean here. Um, I think that she is one of the most valuable characters in the game right now. Like. She was one of the strongest characters, guys, for Cool Obsidian. Yep, I'm not sure I say his name properly, but let's just say Black Dwarf, uh, Wall Boss Ultimate. She is one of the best characters against this guy. She could clear up to, uh, if I actually pushed it, I could probably clear uh, floor 40 with her. In this video, I went pretty basic. I went with floor 30 just so we can actually show how strong she is, even against uh, floor 30 of. Uh, Black Dwarf Wall Boss Ultimate. That was just an example, guys. We have so much gameplay uh, with her today. We have Giant Boss Raid. How much damage can she do in Giant Boss Raid, right, guys? Well, that I'm gonna, not gonna spoil it. I'm gonna let you watch it when we get there. Uh, like I just said, we have um, Black Dwarf uh, Stage 30. Uh, we have Story Mode 13 8, so the Thanos boss fight on autoplay with she's solo. She has nobody else in the team with her. Uh, and we have uh, PvP, uh, PvP manual place for like an example of when you're doing timeline. She's like she uh, she kind of destroyed. She does not have uh, immunity to guard break with this current build, so she's not optimal for PvP, which is why I had to control her. But if you control her, she's amazing. And then it went out a CTP of destruction, well, or, or authority or whatever, uh, with the CTP of rage in Alan Conquest. As she is a top 30 character in the game so she is just so goddamn bad she is uh, one of the best paywall characters in the game right now guys that she covers so many game modes so with that said guys we're gonna go through the build here the skill rotation and everything then we're gonna jump into that gameplay guys so you can actually see how beast mode she is guys pretty much so let's look at the stats here 
we have uh, almost max skill cooldown, almost maxing our defense while still missing 5% max defense, doesn't matter too much. And we have 180% critical damage, 75% critical rate, max attack speed. We don't care about energy attack, we don't care about physical attack. Here, we're gonna care about HP. Our damage is based on HP. So here we're running with 59,209 HP that's a lot of freaking HP guys and the most HP you have on there and the most damage you're gonna get so it's really about that HP as much as possible guys so those are the stats it's a little ability she gets 3% increase of energy attack and movement speed increased by 3% nothing very exceptional here um, she is a level 70 gear 25 uh, as you can see 2 HP your gear, then after that it's maximizing your stats. Like, uh, if you have a CDP afraid, you want to get that crit rate to cap. And then after that you want to max skill cooldown and max in your defense. So that's pretty much how she works. Uh, if we look at the enhancement type, sorry, I have really big difficulty with that word, guys. My English is still uh, pretty bad. So uh, we have max universal type enhancement here. So 20% increase uh, damage to combat, blast, and speed type characters, which is kind of wide too. That makes her very great for PvP. Uh, Ezo said we are running with a, a set banner stage 8 in effect Angel of Death. You do not need a, a 8 Ezo set here, guys. You want to get something like like 6 uh, six slots Ezo set, so you can actually put extra HP on this Ezo set, pretty much. So we'll look here. We have all attack 7%, max HP 7%, attack speed 6.3%, ignore defense 6.7%, and activation rate 9% chance when attacking, decrease skill cooldown, we don't care about that. All we care about is getting that max HP and adding the slots for 3, 3 fully awakened uh, HP uh, ISO here. You know the vital ISO 8, that's what you want. You want to be able to put 3 on your, at least 3 on your easel set and while getting a good easel set that will give you a lot of HP like here we get 7% plus we get here um, let's see come on I'm pressing here 516 511 521 so that's 1.5k extra HP plus 7% that's a lot of HP and that's what you want to have as much as possible if you're running with the CTP uh, of rage. If you're running with something else, guys, it's still the same. Uh, you want to HP up anyway, so that's what it is, guys, with the ISO set. Custom gear, you can see the CTP of rage here. We have 23.9% uh, critical rate, 31.4% dodge activation rate, 20% when dealing critical attacks. Applied to self, in your butts damage decreased by 60% for 5 seconds. Increase 0.9% damage per 1% of dodge rate or critical rate regardless of guaranteed dodge rate and guaranteed critical rate. So basically, CTP Rage, I explain it in every single video we talk about CTP Rage, you guys. All you care, max your critical rate, get the 60%, well the 20% activation rate, the 60% in your butts damage decrease and 0.9% per 1%. And you ignore dodge because uh, you use this obelisk for uh, PvE. And with PvE, what's going to give you the most is critical rate. And also, to trigger the pros, uh, you actually it comes from critical attack. So the dodge there is just to mislead you pretty much. On uh, at the last part where he says um, increase 0.9% damage per 1% of dodge or rate, it is, this is just put critical rate there. To make it pretty simple, uh, it will be so much easier to understand for people. But yeah, uh, you, you ignore the dodge, guys. You just focus on the critical rate here. Now, if we look at her skills, she has three passive tier two passive, uh, Arrow of Doom, by itself, 30% uh, chance to increase critical damage by 100%, on critical attack, critical damage increase by 30%, and increase guaranteed dodge rate by 30%. Then we have uh, the first tier 1 passive here, uh, Latvitarian Champion, 30% increase of all HP to all allies in team. Then we have the last resort, uh, activation rate when HP is below 50%, apply to self, 50% chance to penetrate with 
Super Armor Barrier Effect increase guaranteed a critical rate by 60%. She gets so much critical rate, man, that is ridiculous. And then we have her Leadership Flight All Eyes 35% increase of all attacks. Uh, you don't really care about the other part because we don't really run Doom uh, when we play her anymore. Uh, so that's her lead. Now the skills, guys. So the fourth skill here is a Crater Shield that is 35% max HP, decrease all damage received by 60%, 100% increase of max HP, plus it will do 25% uh, uh, damage in HP. Well, energy damage 25% of HP here. You can see why the HP is so important. Then you have third skill. Third skill will stun the target if it's stunnable. Uh, increase all attack by 60%. All defense by 60%, all speed by 20% for one second. So you pop that and you cancel into your second skills where you it's going to be most of your damage that does a lot of damage. And we'll go, it will give you invincible for five seconds and energy damage 25% HP. The second skill, which is the most important skill, well, all those three skills we just mentioned are very important, but that's the skills that uh, you get the most damage out of it. I will apply bleed damage and energy damage 20% of HP and you have the first skills that you don't care about unless you're running uh, something you can stun like shadow or something like that because um, you're not getting really getting used that in the rotation now if we talk about the rotation guys the rotation is simple four as soon as the shit drop on the ground cancel into two then uh, go into three uh, as soon as you jump in the air with the third skill and the yellow circle appear, appear in the ground, cancel with the two. With two. And then you repeat that. It's four, cancel two, three, cancel two, four, cancel two, three, cancel two. We can make a sound by that as you get it. But yeah, that's how easy she is to play. You just gotta learn your timing to actually maximize your damage with those uh, this rotation pretty much. And how to stay alive by by going perfectly with the rotation. Uh, you'll see guys, we're about to jump in the gameplay section, we're gonna have, like I said, World Boss Ultimate, Giant Boss Ray, PvP, and Story Mode 13.8 on autoplay. Uh, you're gonna see how she is played and how amazing she is. Again guys, make sure to subscribe to the channel uh, to get notification for when the new video live stream is happening and also to be eligible for the giveaway that you can find the link in the description below the video and on that guys thank you for watching enjoy the gameplay section and star agent starco gaming is out
be here as your foundation And I say, hey, I'll just let it go Your struggles won't remain Yeah. 